Look, you are in many ways uh, uh, one of the more prominent spokespeople to try to help uh, uh, when it comes to messaging on anything regarding uh, the health of Americans, obviously with COVID. I want to play for you what happened to the governor of Arkansas at a town hall. You may have seen a piece of it, but I want the audience to see it because I think it does sort of underscore the challenge you and other public health officials have with messaging on this virus. Take a listen. It's absolutely very real. I think what we agree on is that COVID is real. People get sick from... What's in the vaccine? Give me the insert sheet. If Mr. Doctor gives me a vial and says, trust me, I'll give you a vial, you trust me. If doctors were allowed to tell the truth and treat their patients with these therapeutics, we would not have hospitals full of sick people dying, okay? Don't flirt at me, Governor. What will save lives, Governor? And it's not the vaccine. Dr. Murthy, I, I, I imagine you may have seen this. You've heard Governor Hutchinson already. He's had his own, I think. He's been trying to go around the state, Arkansas, a rough state. What it, how do you digest something like that if the, if the Republic, conservative Republican governor of Arkansas can convince his constituents? How does the Biden administration do it? Well, Chuck, first, I think we should be applauding governors like Governor Hutchinson and others who are out there trying to make sure their communities have the facts about COVID. And listen, I don't blame people uh, for being confused or misinformed about the vaccine or about COVID, because as I said two weeks ago, when I issued a Surgeon General's advisory on health misinformation, there is a lot of misinformation out there circulating from sources that seem like they're trustworthy, but they're not. And it's misled people, and that has ultimately cost them their lives. What we have to do, Chuck, to deal with this is recognize that there's not one single messenger who's going to work to make sure that people have the accurate information they need. We need to mobilize and engage and support trusted messengers all over our country. That means local nurses and doctors. That means local faith leaders. It means ensuring that family members recognize that if they've made the decision to get vaccinated, they've looked at the facts, they can be a powerful force in ensuring their family and friends uh, can make the same type of decision with accurate information. That's how we're going to beat this virus. That's how we're going to get people vaccinated. It's through a people-powered movement to make sure yeah. you know, folks have the facts.